it's Diane with Shell Craft One in my old barn door, and I'm here to add a couple of journals to the booth for Miss Susan Mulhall. Sorry, I'm trying to fix the camera. <laughs> so she sent me two journals. So let's just take. I love how she's got them wrapped up, and she has a sweet little gift for whoever gets the journal. So I will wrap these back up. Um, and put them back the way she has them or do the very best that I can. <laughs> um, she has them so pretty. Ooh, this one feels... Oh, oh, you guys, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at the green. I'm telling y'all, I am so into green right now. I am just absolutely loving all the greens that I'm seeing. Look at how pretty... She's got it tied up with this pretty organza ribbon, and she's got this cool little charm um, looped over the ribbon, the little leaf charm. How very pretty. This would make a beautiful fall journal. And look, she's got a little dangle here on the spine with a leaf and a bead and these pretty uh, flower appliques on the spine, and I love... I just love all the green fabrics, and then she's got the metal corners all the way around. So let's untie it and see what's inside. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's a hardcover journal, and it's covered in fabric. And this is like that good, thick, canvassy top fabric. So it's, it's going to last. It looks like it is three signatures. Look how pretty this journal is. All right, let's see. I don't have... Okay, maybe this is information on the journal. Let's see. Okay, it's called Botanica. It's eight and a half by four, five and a quarter. It has 148 pages with three signatures. The cover is handmade from chipboard covered with tea dyed fabric. The trim is vintage 1950s. And then she's used some... Um, Digitals, it looks like from Victoria Designs, um, vintage book pages, and botanical books. So, just a, a gorgeous, gorgeous little journal here. Okay, let's see. Inside this pocket, you have a couple of tags. I'm loving this. This is such a pretty journal. Very pretty. Look, she's made a little um, flip. That's gorgeous. So pretty. Love, love, love this vellum. Hopefully y'all can see okay. Do I need to zoom in some? Let me try zooming. I don't want to zoom in so much that you can't. Sorry, I'm not trying to make y'all dizzy. <laughs> okay, so you have a little pocket here with an altered bingo card. How cute is that? She's put napkin on it. Very pretty. Stenciling. Gorgeous pages. Mushrooms there. Ledger paper. And then a little tuck here with a butterfly journaling card. Music paper. Here's a little belly band. And she's made a little booklet with lined paper. Such a pretty little journal. Excuse me. And here's a pocket here with a collaged tag. Tracing paper that she's stamped on. And then a piece of an Edith Holden page for the center. So pretty. I'm loving this. She's got a little altered paper clip here with a dangle and a sweet little tag tucked underneath there. And then a mushroom tag tucked underneath the other side. This looks like a triple pocket with a tag. Another little tag in the second pocket. And then this is a little tag. Actually, there's, oh, she's put you several little tags in, in this pocket. These are very pretty. Very pretty. And I love the green ribbons that she's used to top them with. Oh, goodness. I have taken them out. <laughs> Maybe it won't be too big of a fight. 
There we go. Okay. <laughs> so flip open here. Have an um, altered book page piece there. And on the back, she has the altered paper clip. She has a journaling card underneath. And then a bag of goodies. I'm not taking these out because I want you to have some surprises. This is a gorgeous journal. I am loving this vellum. I wish I knew where you all get all of the beautiful vellum that you get because I don't really have access to it where I'm at. Like my stores, I, they never have really any decent um, vellum and the vellum that they do have they want an arm and a leg for <laughs> very pretty <clears throat> so there's another triple pocket I'm not taking all these tags out just simply because y'all know I fight with them <laughs> okay this is a little pocket here with a journaling card she's got a pretty little dangle I love the leaf dangles and the colors that she's mixed on the dangles. Little pocket there. And this folds out. Very pretty center of the signature. Another little dangle from that paper clip. Super sweet. And I love she even used green paper clips. Just coordinated everything. These papers are so pretty. This is an ultra paper clip here with a journaling card tucked underneath. Have a little fabric flip there and it's attached with this little piece of ephemera. Very pretty fabric. Tuck there. Oh, I'm so in love with this vellum. <laughs> Another little altered paper clip with a gorgeous little dangle there. And here's another little bag with goodies in it under an altered paper clip. There's a tuck there. These pages are beautiful. Okay, here's a top tuck, and it's also, I like the idea of putting the Rita flips at the top. That's a good idea, Susan. And then the center of your signature. This is a very pretty journal. There's a vellum pocket with an altered bingo card there. How cute is that? That is adorable. Very creative way to add that pocket. And then a belly band here with a journaling card. Pocket there and then a pocket here with a pretty little tag. Read a flip. Or a read a pocket. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I love how she made little tucks with doilies. And then you have the pretty altered paper clip with a little, I think it's, yeah, it's a bird. And then a cute little pocket here with a mason jar. I'm not going to pull it out because it's under the paper clip. And then in the back pocket, you have a double pocket as well. And she's made you several tags and little pieces of ephemera. I love the long tag. And she's added some um, some of that printed vellum onto that tag. And then in the back pocket you have this very pretty envelope with some journaling paper in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous journal. I love it. Okay, so this one's called Botanica. And that's how you'll find it in my shop. So I'm going to slide this one over. And let's see what we have in the next one. So we have a little thank you gift there. 
with some goodies in it. Let's see some vintage items. Oh wow, so pretty. Look at how beautiful this little journal is. And she's got the metal corners and it's fabric covered. Look at that fabric, that's gorgeous fabric. And then I'm gonna go ahead and untie this. I love the amber colored um, organza ribbon that she's used. And look at all the tabs, how very pretty. Beautiful, beautiful with the little bee. And then you have a sweet little tag with the bee dangle. Love that. And I love how she's added this lace at the bottom. That's just gorgeous. And then you have lace on the spine. Okay, let's read our little card here. This one is called the Beekeeper. It measures eight by five and three quarters. It has two signatures with 116 pages. The cover again is made from chipboard. Um, covered with vintage fabric and lace. Um, the printed pages are from Artie Mays, along with a variety of vintage book pages and papers, all tea dyed. So let's go inside and take a peek. This is a beautiful little journal. Oh, look how pretty. Artie Mays is just absolutely amazing. She does beautiful, beautiful mixed media work and I have been binge watching her for the last couple of weeks and she has inspired me so much. So you guys have to go and check her out. She just, she's very, a very talented artist. I love, love these papers. You have a little envelope flap there and on the other side, it comes open with um, coffee dyed paper in there for you to journal on. Very pretty pages. I love this small music pages. Very pretty. So you have a pocket there with a couple of pieces of ephemera. I love the page tabs. Look at all the page tabs. I'm going to hold it sideways so you can see them all. Very, very pretty. And she's got dangles hanging from some of them. Stamping. And then a little banner. No, that's an altered paper clip with a tag tucked underneath. And then a journal and card on the other side. Very pretty pages. The belly band there. And she's made you a little booklet with lined paper. I love the feel of this journal. And it's hard not to compare myself, you know. I know that I'm just learning how to do the digitals and things. But when I see these digitals that, you know, these wonderful ladies make, I just get so intimidated by it. <laughs> because they do such beautiful work. Look how pretty. I love it. Just gorgeous. And she's done stamping on um, the tracing paper. Cute little tuck there. And then you have a dangle on a, a paper clip there with this gorgeous little tag. And then on the other side, you have another tag. So pretty. Yeah, this is a beautiful journaling kit that Artie Mays created. Okay, and so here is an altered paper clip, and she's tucked it, tucked a bag underneath. I'm not going to take that off because if I do, I won't never get it back out. <laughs> oh, pretty little pocket here, and inside you have a little envelope with a goodie tucked in. Oh, cute little mason jar. And then it's a pocket at the top with a gorgeous large size tag. Very pretty. And I love the ribbons that she's used to top her little tags. There's 
another altered paper clip with a dragonfly and a tag there and a journaling card there. Journaling card there. I love this coffee dyed paper. Sorry, I just have to take a look at it and feel of it. Y'all know me, I'm a texture girl. I got a feel of it. <laughs> Very pretty. Love this pocket. I love the colors in this journal. Just beautiful. Pretty little envelope here. Oh, it's actually not an envelope. It's a little booklet. How stinking cute is that? I love it. Very pretty. Uh-oh. And you can actually use that as a pocket to tuck something in if you wanted to. Y'all know me. I love the schematics that she's used in here. Lots of stenciling and stamping, stamping that she's done throughout the book. Here's a Rita flip and a sweet little glassing bag with a journal card inside. Billy Band. And she's made a little booklet with lined paper for extra journaling. So pretty. And then we have an altered paper clip with a little bumblebee on it. So stinking cute. This is a gorgeous little journal, y'all. Just gorgeous. Very pretty. Super sweet little tags and tucks. Oh, I love this. Cute little t ticket that she's altered. This is an altered paper clip and she's tucked in a journaling card underneath. Very pretty. I love these music pages. And we have an altered paper clip here with a wonderful little tag there. That's beautiful. And then you have a fabric and lace flip here. So you have, it just flips up. She's actually attached the lace to the fabric. That's very pretty. Gorgeous little altered paper clip there. And she has one of her very pretty altered bingo cards. I love that napkin that you've used. Okay, my fingers don't want to work right. <laughs> and then this is the back cover of your journal. So this one is called The Beekeeper. So that's how you'll find it in my shop. So once you see this video uploaded, these journals will be available to you in my shop. So run over and grab them while you can. And if you have any comments or questions for myself or for Susan, you can leave them in the comment box below. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. Big hugs.